we have something called crevasses over there in the snow those are when you are walking at 18000 feet there is no soil under you it is total ice ice and ice which is called a glacier and when the glacier cracks sometimes in the because of the shift in the plates of the earth it cracks and makes huge gaps and the depth of those gaps is several kilometers down so when we are walking if the gap is small you can't see it the soft snow covers it up the wind chill factor makes the surface little hard so the first two people just walk across and the third one is just swallowed inside now to make sure that we are safe from that about 15 people tie themselves with each other one person here next person next to that entrance over there with that much distance and a rope and we are on a steep incline like this and, but still sometimes the third person or fourth person falls down when he falls down with the jerk everybody starts sliding down and walking and moving towards that big gap or the crevasse so we have our ice axe we keep on punching on the ice to get a grip and somehow we stabilize ourselves but then we are taught the maximum 2 or 3 minute give time and try to pull that chap out because you are yourself in a difficult position you are also being dragged down into the gap you are holding it with the ice axe i mean it's 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 maddening you are trying to save yourself and you are trying to save your friend but after 3 minutes when you can't do anything you just chop the rope by putting a pitten there the orders are chop the rope in any case after 3 minutes that man can't survive you know because the temperature inside that gap do you know what is the temperature minus 75 degrees celsius he becomes instantly frozen if he does not come out within 2 to 3 minutes those are the stark realities then the second difficulty or the challenge was the terrain 18000 feet there is a very very severe phenomena called hypoxia that means lack of oxygen in the air normal oxygen is about 28% in the air which we are breathing normally as normal human beings but as you keep climbing up in altitude the percentage of oxygen keeps reducing to a very low level so your body does not get enough oxygen into the body and you have to breathe like a old man even a young absolutely stout person healthy person will be stooping over like a old man and walking slowly because you can't breathe and when you breathe very hard your wind pipe is burning it's like a flame as if someone has put your wind pipe on fire and in that type of an atmosphere you are expected to climb up like this in a steep incline of 80 degrees where your nose is touching the next step that you're supposed to take imagine and then we have got almost about 90 pounds of weight of your arms your ammunition some amount of supply some clothing staying though we have to live out right in the open there's no way that you have any shelter and on top of that it's just not a walk like you go to a trek to singar or some other place the enemy is sitting on top which was the third challenge he's got the most modern weapons with him huge number of machine guns that fire at 1000 rounds a minute and each bullet when it comes it whizzes past you like this 1000 rounds a minute and you're scared to even move your head because the bullets are zinging all around you are sides are all tattered and the people are getting killed left right and center and they are there on top so these are the type of challenges that we faced anyway to cut the story short volunteered realized that i had to walk 14 hours of constant and quick march to reach my destination that is my objective which is to be captured and throughout my journey of those 14 hours we were constantly under enemy fire and one lesson i want to give you here is never complain in life because i must add that in the army there are only two sizes for clothes and equipment the sizes are either too big or too small you'll never get your size so we normally people complain that hamare size ka kapda nahi milta juta ka bhi kapda apna size ka nahi milta we keep complaining and that day i learned why in the indian army we don't have the correct size we have either too big or too small because when the machine gun started firing at us one machine gun burst came very close to my leg over here and one bullet went through the toe of my snow boot you know is a huge boot snow boot like this through and through 
But luckily the snow boot was so big for me, my toes remained this side and the bullet went through in the front. <laughs> So, what I am trying to say is never complain. Everything has got good use and everything has got a positive side to it.